Academy. I'm Adam Buckley. Brother Keith Ledford, pastor of Haven Rest Bible Church in Galax, Virginia, served as our evangelist for Fall Revival 2015. It's our custom to have the evangelist share a lunch with our ministerial department, where at the close of that meeting they can have a time of questions and answers. Here's what took place. I can tell you this, that you'll have to learn to lead a disciplined life. Um, all of us have to have so much sleep. All of us have so many hours of the day. Pretty much all of us need seven to eight hours of rest. I mean, there's some exceptions, and there are people that say, oh, well, we get this much rest, but if you really follow them, probably that happens once in a while. They only get five hours, you know, but most of us need seven to eight hours. So that means you're gonna to have to prioritize something. For me, Brother Butler, for me in my schedule, it's, it's usually, Sunday mornings is usually 5, 5.30, because uh, Sunday mornings is, is usually packed. Uh, maybe on the van, maybe on the bus, uh, maybe practicing with the quartet. Definitely want to be there to greet. 9.30, we start at 10, so I want to be there. I want to be there 30 minutes ahead at the church. Make that a practice if you're pastoring. Be there at least 30 minutes ahead of time. You be the one, get the, get the place ready, make sure it's presentable. Be there ahead of time, shake hands, greet the people. Uh, but lead a disciplined life. So that means if, if that's the schedule that works for you, some people are better in the evening uh, than they are in the morning. But if that's the schedule that works for you, don't hit the snooze button. I just preached this recently to my people. Forget your clock has a snooze button. Forget it. Just set it. Whatever it is, 5, 5, 36 o'clock, set that. When the music goes off, jump out of bed and go. Come on back. Uh, just develop that lifestyle. And if you do, and you have a little, you know, make your list off. Here's what I want to get done today. Make your list. And if you'll operate like that, you'll get a lot more done with your life. Every day, have a list of things that you're working on. It might be the night. Water works for you. I, a lot of times I put it on my phone, my little calendar on my phone. You know, do this, do this, do this, do this. But whatever works for you, an index card or whatever. Maybe write it down the night before, write it down that morning. Get up, go at it. And when the day's over, commit it to the hands of the Lord, forget about it. You can't, you can't solve every problem, fix everyone's issues. Uh, you got to have some rest. Brother Ledford's ministry was a blessing both in and out of the pulpit. We want to thank Brother Keith Ledford for challenging us continue changing the world with the unchanging word.